Batmech welcomes you to our instructional video series. This instructional video is for the 2001 to 2003 Toyota Prius Hybrid Battery Pack for module replacement and repair. You can also use this video as a guide to replace single modules with Batmech replacement modules. This video is intended for highly trained individuals who understand the risks of working with high voltage. Risk includes loss of property or life. Repair at your own risk. To streamline this series, this video begins after the removal of your battery from the vehicle. Here's a look at the tools we use to make this type of repair. Here's a look at our suggested personal protective equipment, or PPE. Your shop may have different protocols to keep you safe. It's always best to follow your shop's safety protocol. We recommend using high voltage gloves to protect you and then putting leather gloves over the high voltage gloves to protect the gloves. There are times during the disassembly where there is more risk of exposure to high voltage. So please be careful and wear your gloves when in doubt of your safety. We recommend placing the battery case on a non-conductive work surface. Let's get started. First, you'll start by removing the screws that are used to attach the top metal case. In order to detach the top metal case from the battery, you will also need to use a T30 Torx bit to remove this screw. Once the last screw is removed, you can go ahead and remove the top metal cover. Now that the battery case is opened, you'll remove the black plastic wiring harness covers. Next, remove the nuts that hold the orange wiring harness to the battery module terminals. Once the nuts are removed, you'll separate the wiring harness from the battery modules. Note, if you use a screwdriver to assist in removing the wiring harness, you should be aware if you touch any two terminals at the same time, you will experience a spark. Now proceed with the same procedure on the opposite side of the battery pack in order to separate the wiring harness from the battery modules. Again, start by removing the black plastic wiring harness covers. Then remove the nuts that hold the wiring harness to the battery modules. Next, you'll separate the wiring harness from the battery modules. Note, if you use a screwdriver to assist in removing the wiring harness, you should be aware if you touch any two terminals at the same time, you will experience a spark. Now, you'll remove the white vent tube from the end. After that is removed, you can go ahead and remove the black rubber vent tubes from the top of the modules. Once the vent tubes have been removed, you can proceed by removing the temperature sensor from this end as well as the top of the battery modules. Next, you'll carefully flip over the battery case. Now that the battery case is flipped over, you can remove all the screws that hold the battery modules to the bottom of the case. Now you can flip the battery case back over. Once the case is flipped back over, you'll go ahead and remove these four screws. After the four screws are removed, you can remove the metal end piece to gain access to the individual battery modules. For the last part of the disassembly, you'll need to remove the battery modules from the case, as shown here. Now that the battery is completely disassembled, you can prepare to reassemble the battery. 
Carefully unpack your Batmech boxes. Everything you need to rebuild your battery, including new bus bars and nuts, will be sent to you. Your Batmech batteries are individually tested to assess leaks, capacity, voltage, and internal resistance. The highest and lowest capacities are arranged in ways to optimize the pack's performance and to optimize the differences in block voltage throughout the pack. Each pack is load tested at the same time, but Batmech monitors the voltage of each individual module when testing. Packs are tested under a high current load. Save your boxes you received from Batmech, as these make great core return boxes for shipping your old modules back to Batmech. Now that your Batmech tested batteries are removed from the boxes, go ahead and put them into the compression block sequentially, starting with number 38 at the top left, and then ending with number 1 at the top right. Additionally, the terminals will alternate from positive to negative, starting with the positive terminal positioned at the top left as shown here. Another way to easily tell if the modules are positioned right is to locate the vents. The vents should alternate between no vent and vent all the way from Module 38 to Module 1. Here you'll notice the numbers are out of order. This is wrong. Try not to make mistakes like this or your pack will fail. As we zoom in, notice how the modules are misaligned. This is not correct. Modules should be flush and aligned as you see here. This is achieved by making sure these interlocking tabs on the modules line up to where they connect with another module. Now that you're sure your modules are lined up in order, go ahead and attach this metal end piece using the four screws. Next, reattach the temperature sensor and wires. Don't forget to insert the temperature sensor wire through the metal end piece. Once the temperature sensor wires are attached, go ahead and attach the vent tubes to the top of the battery modules. Make sure the vent tube goes through metal end piece for both tubes. and make sure to connect the white plastic vent tube to the black rubber vent tubes. The next step you'll want to take is to replace all your old corroded bus bars. Batmech has supplied new bus bars with your battery pack purchase. The bus bars are located within the orange wiring harnesses. This step is critical to ensure that the battery will work at peak performance and to ensure the battery won't fail now or in the near future due to corrosion on the bus bars. Be sure to take extra precaution not to break a terminal when removing or replacing bus bars. If you happen to break a terminal, never fear. Batmech.com sells replacement wiring harnesses for this model battery. After you've finished replacing the old bus bars with the new bus bars supplied by Batmech, you'll do the same replacement on the opposite side of the battery. This is a good time to remind you to save the old bus bars to return them to Batmech to avoid voiding your warranty. The rest of the reassembly of the battery pack will re-energize the battery. Your shop may have different protocols to keep you safe. It's always best to follow your shop's safety protocol. Before attaching the wire harness, be sure your torque settings on your torque wrench are set to about 55 inch-pounds. If you don't follow these torque settings, you are likely to damage the terminals on the modules and will void your warranty. Never use max drill settings and never use an impact wrench. Now that the bus bars are replaced and you have your torque settings figured out, you'll go ahead and attach the wiring harness to the battery module terminals using the new Batmech supplied nuts. One thing to keep in mind before securing the orange wiring harness is that the main wire at the end on this side can easily become dislodged. 
make sure it is inserted into the wiring harness over top of the bus bar. Go ahead and replace the wiring harness on the opposite side as well using the Batmex supplied nuts. Now's a good time to take a photograph of each side of the battery. These photographs can be used for review of assembly if you experience issues. This may save you from having to uninstall the entire battery later. Now that the wiring harness is properly attached, you can now go ahead and put back on the black plastic wiring harness covers. Next, you'll put the metal case back on. Then you'll proceed by attaching the metal case using the original hardware. Here's where you'll once again use your T30 Torx bit to attach this screw. For the last step, we will need to flip the case over one last time. And finally, go ahead and attach the bottom of the case to the battery modules using the Batmex supplied screws. Your rebuild is complete. You can now reinstall the battery back into the vehicle. Here are a few pro tips. Be sure the service plug is secured properly, otherwise you'll get error codes. You'll also want to clean your cabin filter every three months. Be sure to clean your cooling fan. Dirty cooling fans can cause the battery to overheat. This concludes our how to demonstration. Remember as a highly skilled mechanic with high voltage training to wear the appropriate personal protection equipment your shop requires. Stay safe and thank you for shopping on batmech.com.